Hey, hey, fine people, thanks for checking out my video. Appreciates it. If you likes what you sees, please hit the like and subscribe button. Welcome, journey, entering, let's go. Career, it, it's one of these things where it's so easy for somebody that has found their pa purpose and passion. They feel like like me and it sounds like you and, and to be like, oh, just go do it, you know? And I hate, I used to hate when people said that when I didn't. So it's not that simple. And, you know, you just got to take little baby steps, one step at a time. And what I always tell people to do is start with, make a list of all the things that you're really good at. Um, uh, things that people have told you you're good at your whole life, things you know you're naturally good at, things you may kind of push aside. Like, yeah, I'm good at that, but who cares? Right. I used to feel that way about my art when I was younger, when I, I, was, a, I was a good artist. And, but I also remember thinking because somebody had implanted it in my brain at one point or society or wherever it came from that that's not going to do me any good artists are starving artists they're, they're never going to make money i need to become like a lawyer or a doctor or something and i kind of like right. push that off to the side and it wasn't until years later that i actually realized that not only is that something that i need to make sure is a part of my life but that's actually what i can use to help propel my career and my finances. And so everything I do has a creative element into it. I'm not necessarily always drawing stuff, but I do some of that stuff and I, but it's the creative side of my mind I'm constantly using and that has helped me. So you wanna make that list of these things that are, you know, you're, you're really good at. And then also those things, like I said, that you're really passionate about, like, and, and don't, just don't judge yourself. Just write them down. If you're passionate about movies, write about, write that, you know, just, just, just don't overthink it, write them down. Right. And then just start to think, okay, you know, what, what can I do with this? And it may not come overnight, but just be thinking about it and be looking at these li this list and, and continue to let it dwell. And it's going to sink. I promise you, it'll come to you and you'll be like, okay. And then even if you have a job, you may not be thrilled in, you can do the side hustle on the side and you can start it again. It's about action, just one small step at a time. And then that may start to build momentum over on the side. And then before you know it, you're like, okay. I've actually started to build something over here. And this is what really makes me happy. Now I can get rid of this crappy job that I'm just getting for a paycheck. Right. And that, um, so, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's easier said than done. Obviously it's, it's, you know, a lot of people will say, just go out and do what you love. And I, everybody's got to pay bills, especially now things are tough, but I promise you, if you can figure that stuff out in terms of what you really love, what you're passionate about and try to, you know, the word purpose, I don't love, but I use it. Uh, you know, because it's it's very intimidating word. Like, what's my purpose? Well, right. to me, it was more like, so I sold my company and it felt amazing for 10 <laughs> minutes. And then I was like, okay, now what? Nice. what? Right? <laughs> and, and, and it was such an eye opener for me because I was, I went from like completely thinking for, for a period in my life that just as most people do, that it was all about money. And if I just got enough money, right. I could sit on the beach, drink a pina colada. <laughs> you know, this is early on. I mean, look, fortunately, as I started to evolve and was reading self-help and stuff, I realized it's not, I, so I already kind of knew that, but then when it happened, it confirmed it. I was like, no, right. money is not the answer. That, that's a piece yeah. of it. You need to feel secure. Yeah. Um, but it's about continually moving and growing. And then I'm like, okay, what do I love? What am I passionate about? What are, and that's what I shifted my career to now. And I'm not it's making amazing. any money doing it, but I'm okay for now because I was able to make, enough money in my previous career where I can kind of okay, sustain so myself to be able to build this momentum in the meantime. Dude, it's amazing, bro. You have an amazing story and everyone that should just re-listen to that or, or re think about everything he just said right there because money will never buy you happiness. It will never buy you happiness. It's your legacy. It's your career. It's your passions. Those are the things that are going, people are going to remember you by. Remember that. Those are the things that people are going to remember you by. And for the girl that was listening, was it Ann? I'll tell you this, I got a strategy that's been working since I started. If you want to get a job somewhere, okay, this is a real simple tactic you can do. Two things. First thing is follow the business page on social. Follow them on social, whatever platform you like to use, Instagram, Twitter, or wherever they're at. Sometimes businesses are not on every page, but wherever they're at, follow them, right? And start to engage with their posts. A lot of times you'll actually find that some of the top level management, CEOs, owners, and actually in some small businesses, that's who's managing the social. And then a lot of times it'll be the head marketing director, et cetera. And if you make a good impression there, not only would they might want to hire you actually on the social media team, which I've actually seen happen, they might actually want to hire you in the business for that job because you were just so passionate about their business, willing to help them out, sharing their yeah. posts, commenting, and engaging on them. And then the other thing you can do a next step good further enough. is find them on LinkedIn, Will. Find these top people on LinkedIn that own these businesses. Uh, a great a point of advice was to me recently was actually – if you want to sell your business, find out seven people that, that you seven people that you would want to sell it to, 
right? So think of seven, you know, possible people that would acquire it and then do this. Go three people deep. Who are the top three people in that business that would be the most influential people that possibly that I could influence to help maybe get that acquisition? And you could probably find them on LinkedIn. And so you could do the same thing with the business if you wanted to not only sell your business, but if you wanted to find a job is go deeper than just engaging. Now find these people on social and then engage with their personal posts on LinkedIn. And it's a winning strategy. I mean, it's personally a winning strategy. It's not going to happen overnight. Right. But why not try? Like, what the heck? Dude, like, why not try something? Yeah. Just take literally... the action. And, and, and you never know where it's going to lead. You got to be proactive in life. If you're a vi- I call it, it's the victim, a fixed Dude. victim versus a growth owner. If you're a fixed victim, you're like, poor me. I'm just waiting for the end for the to win the lottery or for it to all be, you know, be done retirement so I can get my retirement. Check. Like, you're, you, you've already lost before you've even started. But if you're like that growth owner that's like, I got everything within me to kick ass, take names. It's only a matter of time, obstacles and roadblocks. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get there. Yep. All I got to do is put one foot in front of the other, keep taking action, be proactive, and it'll happen. That is the formula for success for every single person that has ever succeeded, I promise you. And it's not rocket science. It's just continuing to take that action. And if you get a no, if you get rejected, just knowing in your heart, because like I said, when you tie it to your passions and your strengths, like, okay, well, yep, that didn't work, but I'm going to use that failure as a learning experience, and I'm going to grow forward from it. And it's, that's, that's very tough to do when you're doing something or chasing something that you're, isn't genuinely in your heart, something you want to do.